Welcome back, ladies and gents, to part 13 of my Red Dead Redemption 2 walkthrough. Welcome back. Look at Arthur. I'm still rocking this beard from last uh, from last video that we got. And I changed my outfit. I bought that. I went to Rhodes and uh, it bought me an outfit. This is one outfit that kind of looks like Duchess, but kind of isn't with a coat on it that I want. But I have to raise my honor level. Man, I'm in the good so far. All right, let's go. Uh, talk to this guy. Arthur, are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've, I've found something interesting. Yeah. Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head. Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. Oh, this is not my horse. Egnio. So where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well... Lead the way and we'll find out. Why does everything gotta be at Rhodes? I hate that place. You seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats. Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So... Where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden, is quite a fellow. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Real good, boy. I can barely... Bye, Neil. I'm waiting for you, homeboy. Arthur really does look good Come in this. On. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Oh, I almost forgot. Bill asked me to give you a message to meet him here in town as soon as you can. Something to do with the Greys. I thought I'd nab you first. You did? Okay. Thanks. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work? Oh. Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here 
as a present for you. There. Ain't you kind, sir. Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay, well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there, feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, Adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he says. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Cassie, what are you looking at? Stop looking at the door. Someone behind me. She's doing it again, ladies okay, and gents. Let's go this way. Hey. Finally, you, Josiah. But there's a Josiah and a Josiah, and there's two Karens too. Our camp. One's a boy. The other one's a woman. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, Strawberry, could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. I hope everything goes right. But since he said if anything goes wrong, you know something's going to go wrong. Man, have this guy not watched anime before? He's just set off, set off a freaking black flag. Really? Just freaking turn to me around, bro. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh. Better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is... Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. Wait, should I put on my mask? Well, I'll keep it on just in case. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. No, 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 no. Don't mind my 
Such a small show, but would you sell me something for me? I, I'm looking for a mess of supply. Look. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. I've heard enough. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. My niece, of course. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's always good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Huh. That's pretty good. Here, Neil. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Egg Neil, come to me. All right, where do we need to go? Back to Rhodes, next to the butcher, to visit Bill. All right, I don't need a waypoint for this, ladies and gents. We're right next to it. Okay there, boy. Yeah, okay, boy. Jump. That was a delayed jump. Igno, you failed me. Spread your wings, bro. Yo, that'd be awesome. You could get like Pegasus in this game. Has there been a video game that you could fly a horse in? Like Pegasus? You're looking real nice today, Bill. Shut up. <laughs> We've been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on. Let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dodge said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what if they're born in their fears? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, uh, that's so. Yeah. 
They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these Grey Boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you... <laughs> Oh, Sean! God, Jesus, Sean. I wonder, can we lose Sean's body? No, he, we can't. Oh man, my heart's kind of broken right now. I really start to like Sean too. Where's this double barrel? Okay, I'll use it. Is that a roll? Those cowards are running away. Looks like most of them. Not all of them. Sheriff Gray. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Come on. Sheriff Gray! You need to get a hold on this town. It's gone. Going to hell. Who do you think you are? Bunch of two big thugs from God knows where? so dumb to think we don't know what you've been doing come out sheriff it's over we put down far worse than you a hundred times over this is the grays town always has been always will be only grays i see left around here is you you want us to come out we'll come out Bill! Guns on the ground, now! Both of you, don't do it! You know we can't do that. You put the gun down, Sheriff! I'll blow his brains out! You want to join your little friend there, do you? 
Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? How the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Well, take the boys' bodies. Bury them proper someplace quiet. Maka? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. Man, I am quite sad. I was so fond of Sean, too. Oh, lordy. Okay, let me I keep switching back to this uh, repeater. I don't like this repeater because it's not as strong as the carbine one. I can add better bullets. Uh, high velocity. Let's go with high velocity. I really like the double barrel. Man, once I find that double barrel. Explosive slug. <laughs> Dear Lord, have mercy. Giving me ideas. Okay, let's clean the pistol I got. I did a mini side quest with Sean and got this pistol. Oh, dear Lord, I'm sad. Move out the way, boy. Oh, yeah, I totally... I, I read online that you don't even need to click in, um, you know, twice to open the map. All you need to do is just hold the, the pause button, and it opens the map automatically. I think Witcher 3 Wild Hunt did something similar. So, something tells me this is how this game's going to be. Like, each chapter. There's six chapters in the epilogue, explains it two parts, I think. Yeah, I think we're gonna see more and more people from the gang die. I just ran over a rabbit. Jesus Christ. What time of day is it? 6.50 p.m.? God, this game is really beautiful, huh? So Sean's dead. I bet... Who's next? Susan? Lenny? Oh, no, Lenny. You seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, I... where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you. And we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail. You have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch! We just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, 
You kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Okay, let's go get that boy back. War time. They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard about John too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will stay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. Or if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. For Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on. Our question is how did they get Jack in the first place? He should be in the camp, right? And all the adults are around. Like, what, did everyone have their backs turned? Okay, get your heads right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. Look at how we forming. Can we make a letter out of all these horses? Dude, that looks like an X. No, it doesn't. A star? A P. All right, everyone, dismount and come to me. We'll go in on foot from here. First song, now Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. It's a bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this, right? Now, like they don't know we're coming. Arthur, are you coming or what? We don't have all day. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. This is a great shot right here, huh? Trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this, I got the balcony.
Oh yeah. Let's go with first person. Okay, can can't go with here. I should just go back to slug. by the chair headshot Double barrel back. It's custom made. I told you there's no getting in this way. They got it locked. Okay. It's blocked, but I reckon it might get. Realistically, you just shoot. It's a breaks open. house for 120 years we never had no problem except for where Yankees. is the boy who took him you killed my son oh and i will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking oh i know your time common scum where is the boy you filth all right we get her out uh, of here uh, what about down <laughs> now let's get this hag outside. <laughs> <laughs> 
any more of her sons to deal with. No, I reckon they're all dead. <laughs> That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here? We searched everywhere, Dutch. You got this, Arthur! Guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Come here! <laughs> <laughs> Never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there. Or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> it's going to work out, John. It's going to work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but well, of course Marston's scared rotten. I mean, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now we get that boy back and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors, a solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and... Murderers so that they might live and love? Well, ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with... I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. 
You're making a big mistake. All of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days? That's all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back. And we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot on. Follow me. I know the way. It was a really fun mission. And the Pinkerton showed up. Wasn't expecting that. Oop, wrong way. Don't follow me into the ocean, boy. Should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew him right to us. I mean, how many people we killed in the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean. Mac, Davy, Jenny, and for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run, but we'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up, and rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this, or you'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. So, what were you talking about before? Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought, That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Some here. I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. Yeah. 
Okay, all clear right here. Yo, let's switch to that explosive shot. Shut up, old man. We got time for this. You think you're tough, Yankee? Come in here and hide me like a man. You're the one hiding. I'm me. Come on. How's it looking up there? I think we're clear. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Just shot his head clean off. I love it. <laughs> oh, wrong way. Here, give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. <gasps> Follow me. Follow me, maze on me. I forgot where I heard that from probably like an old Cartoon Network show. Camp Laszlo. Right, guys remember that show? We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Race it to the swamp. Oh man, it's like this one scene in Justified when they feed the alligators. Okay, I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan, guide them in. Okay. Only three more bodies. Didn't I kill a person right here? I'm probably gonna start using the freaking double barrel more often. Definitely that explosive shot. Probably would have incinerated that old man. Alright, this is gonna take some time. So I'm gonna do a quick transition, ladies and gents, uh, when I dump the last body. So, uh, transition. Don't know why I started along with that. So, transition. I ended it with a question mark. Huh. Transition. Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. 
What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Alrighty, ladies and gents, I am going to end the video right here. Thank you all for watching this. If you guys could please leave a like on this video, if you guys like what you saw, please subscribe for more content. It helps with the channel a lot. Also, when you do subscribe, make sure to click that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can start receiving notifications when I post videos. Uh, please share my channel and my videos to all your friends, family, cats, and dogs, and whoever who not. And you guys can all follow me on Twitter at beta b a y t u h. And I also have a Patreon page. If you guys could please go over there, donate starting at the two dollars tier so i can i can oh excuse me so i can i can so i can keep making some cool shits that's over here at this youtube.com slash beta that is patreon.com slash beta b-a-y-t-u-h also if you guys don't have a patreon page or you don't want to use patreon but you have a paypal account i also have a paypal account you can donate to that is paypal.me slash beta b-a-y-t-u-h and i will see you guys later